Hello and welcome to Megawatt News, I'm Katie Scott. In the headlines today, Facebook takes on its German pretender, details are revealed for the new Skype phone, the Navigon 8110 sat-nav comes to the UK, and O2 admits private text messages have been available for all to see on Google. It may have just settled one lawsuit, but it seems those Facebook execs have got bored already and started yet another one. Facebook has filed an intellectual property lawsuit against a German company that it says is running a knockoff version of the social networking website. Facebook has accused StudiViz that boasts 10 million users in Germany, Austria and Switzerland of copying the look, feel, features and services of the Facebook site in a complaint filed in California. Facebook says StudiViz has copied entire portions of Facebook, including features such as the wall, stating that the differences between the two sites were nominal, with StudiViz just replacing Facebook's blue colour scheme with a red one. We reported the rumours, but now 3 has released the official specification and images of their new Skype phone, the S2. The new candy bar handset measures in at 103 by 45 by 14 millimetres and will offer a 2.2 inch QVGA screen. There's 50 megabytes of onboard memory backed up by a micro SD card slot that supports up to 4 gig. The S2, available only in black, will also offer HSDPA speeds of up to 3.6 megabytes per second and boasts a 3.2 megapixel camera. On sale via 3 from the 18th of August, obviously the phone's biggest selling point is the free Skype to Skype calls and Skype chat to anywhere in the world, whether they're on a PC or mobile. The price is expected to be £79.99. The Navigon 8110 is now available in the UK and for the first time ever in a Navigon device provides Panorama View 3D for a three-dimensional display of the entire route. Offering a 4.8 inch screen, the device offers the new Lane Assistant Pro and the Enhanced Reality View Pro. In addition, there's an integrated MP3 player, picture viewer and FM transmitter as well as an SD card slot. The new Navigon gets Bluetooth hands-free capabilities, while the integrated USB port can be used to copy address information from Microsoft Outlook. There's text-to-speech functionality, TMC Pro for traffic information, PIN code protection and a POI memory containing more than 2 million destinations. Including free map updates for 24 months after purchase, the Navigon 8110 is available now at an RRP of £389.99. O2 customers are none too happy after it was revealed that photos sent by MMS can be found using just a simple Google search. David Corley on the Mail Channel's anti-spam blog revealed the flaw which has pushed O2 into the centre of a privacy storm. The problem comes about when MMS messages are sent to people who don't own a compatible phone, such as, ironically, the new iPhone 3G. They get sent a URL from which they can view the O2 customer's images. But Corley has found these images can be accessed using a simple in-URL search on Google. The problem was highlighted on dozens of blogs, news websites and even O2 message boards over the weekend. O2 eventually decided to take down the website viewing service. Those were today's headlines. Join us tomorrow for more news and views from the world of gadgets and technology. Thanks for watching.